so this is uh, uh, the exercise number 16 so this is uh, another case of a cube almost a similar the only difference is in this case the it is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp so here a cube of 50 millimeter long edges is so placed on hp on one corner now in this case it is resting on hp on one corner that a body diagonal through this corner is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp draw its three views in the previous case the condition was it was uh, uh, it was resting on hp on one of its coordinates such that the body diagonal through this through uh, one of the body diagonal not uh, body diagonal through this corner one of the body diagonals was perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp in this case it is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp so the, the conditions only reverses the difference is that in this case we are considering the body diagonal through the resting corner and in the previous case the body diagonal was not through the resting corner so that is the difference now in this case we have to draw all the three views also three views means front view top view and side view so first we go for the xy line then as in the previous case our front view i mean top view then the uh, front view in the front view we consider the body diagonal in a different way not just in different way the previous way it is also okay but this is a better way better way in the sense we can place the cube uh, on the corner c on the corner uh, on the bottom corner of c so th in this corner we can face it so place it so uh, we consider a uh, solid diagonal a solid diagonal which is starting from this particular corner and ending up in the opposite corner this corner so this is our solid diagonal that we that is under consideration now this is the point one dash so one dash a dash is the solid diagonal that is under consideration now in this condition the solid diagonal is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp now see in this condition itself in the first condition itself the solid diagonal is parallel to vp so we don't have to do anything special to make it parallel to vp so it is already parallel to vp now what we have to do is we have to make it perpendicular to hp now in order to make it perpendicular to hp it is very simple in the front view make it perpendicular to the xy line so we draw this front view in such a way that it is perpendicular to the xy line and one dash is at the bottom and uh, obviously the front view is drawn like this so this is the condition where uh, the solid diagonal passing through the resting corner this is the resting corner the resting, uh, resting corner is one dash so the solid diagonal through the resting corner that is one dash is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp that's it very simple now you go for the top view see the top view is now a regular hexagon a regular hexagon with a all its edges starting from one dash or starting from one is invisible edges so again here also it is given as chain line actually it should be uh, uh, dotted lines so all the edges starting from one is dotted edges so this is again uh, the condition this is the condition this is the top view corresponding to the solid diagonal perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp that is the solid diagonal through the resting corner is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp that is the condition this is such a very very simple uh, in the previous case it was um, slightly difficult but in this case it is very simple now what we have to do is we have to go for the third view that is the side view also in order to get the side view what we do is we there are multiple ways of drawing the side view 
we have seen uh, the side view using the arc method that is the x1 y1 line is drawn the vertical line x1 y1 line like this from here to here a vertical line is drawn then this line is made uh, all these losses made to intersect with the, that particular line then 45 degree inclined the line is drawn from there that was one method and uh, another method we used the uh, curves uh, uh, circular arcs to make that mark the same distance that is the second method now this is the third method in which we initially draw the angle uh, draw the line with the 45 degree inclination so this is the uh, inclined line with the 45 degree inclination now what we do is all the low is extended to this particular line and from the, there we make the vertical projectors so this is another simple procedure initially we draw the uh, 45 degree inclined line instead of drawing all the four, all the lines as 45 degree inclined lines initially we draw a 45 degree inclined line then all the projectors i mean all the low c are made to intersect with this 45 degree inclined line and then from this line we draw the projectors so that is another procedure for drawing the side view now from the front view also we draw the low c all the low c from all the all the eight corners then all the eight corners are drawn and the front view is completely Any similarity between this one and the previous figure? In the previous case of uh, the cube, where the solid diagonal was parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP condition. In that case, this side view was our top view and this top view was our front view. Do you remember it? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. This side view was our front view, I mean a top view, and this top view was our front view in that case. Okay.